After the Warriors just won the most recent NBA Finals in the league having an interesting offseason, there are many teams that have a shot at contending but may not be the best of the best. I'm going to be giving you my 3 dark horse NBA teams that could potentially win the title if everything goes right. I usually give out 5 teams but only so many teams can have a legit shot at winning a championship. At the number 3 spot is the Los Angeles Lakers. It's crazy to put the Lakers on a dark horse underrated video especially with a core of LeBron James and Anthony Davis, but with how the Lakers were last season in terms of injuries and bad play in general, the basketball community has counted these guys out and I'm giving them a chance. With Darwin Ham as a new head coach, he is going to maximize Anthony Davis and Russell Westbrook's talents and now it will be up to them to stay healthy and play well. The Betts unit has also improved with guys like Patrick Beverly, Lonnie Walker, Austin Reeve, Thomas Bryant and many more. And if they can build chemistry and become a defensive minded team they once were a few years back, I'm definitely not counting these guys out. At the number 2 spot is the New Orleans Pelicans. The West is so stacked and a big problem with this team is their health concerns. With Zion missing more games than he has played, we are hoping that the Pelicans can be healthy this season which can give them a real shot at a good seed and can lead them to easier playoff matchups. Playing a team like the Clippers or the Warriors in the first round is something they have to avoid because of experience. Their current starting lineup currently does not have a point guard and some people think that's an issue. To me that's not an issue at all because I believe that Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram were improved drastically in terms of getting others involved in the offense and when you have a guy like CJ McCollum, it's pretty easy to get him involved in any type of play set and they drafted a point guard in Dyson Daniels but his development looks like it could take a while so we don't know what his immediate impact and role will be. What I like about this team is not counting the stars and veterans, this team is surrounded by young players who love to play defense and can space the floor out. Troy Murphy, Herb Jones, and Jose Alvarado all proved that they can make a legit impact in the postseason and when you play a perimeter centric team like the Warriors, those kind of players are mandatory to have. A Zion's offseason trip. And coming in at my final spot is the Denver Nuggets. With the constructed roster they have, there's no way this team should be a dark horse contender, but for some reason the whole NBA community seems to underrate them. With Jamal Murray and Michael Porter Jr. coming back, Fully healthy in additions of guys like Bruce Brown, KCP, this roster is deep. Nikola Jokic is going to love this roster, especially because of how good of a playmaker he is. When he can find guys like MBJ and Jamal Murray open in the corner, compared to Will Barton and Monte Morris last year, this team has potential to be one of the most efficient and best offenses in the league. think a team that can win 48 games without their second and third best players can't contend this year, then I don't know what to tell you.